Hey there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World and today we're in Prague, one of my favorite cities in the entire world to visit. It is shockingly awesome and amazing and fantastic and you really have to come here, so don't pass it up. And today what we have for you are 10 shocking fun things for tourists when they actually come here to Prague. And the first thing that shocks tourists when they come here is just how beautiful Prague is. This is the town square, the old town square. You got the astronomical clock there. Oh, maybe you can see the Christmas tree over there. You got the church over there. It is just gorgeous in the town square, but not just here. The architecture throughout the city is amazing. It wasn't destroyed during the Second World War, so you really see all the amazing building, all the amazing architecture. Walking on Charles Bridge, you know, you'll see people rubbing the, <laughs> the, the statue of the priest getting thrown out of the building. Whole other story for that. But you see the view up on Castle Hill, walking through the city. I mean, this place is just gorgeous. Or just going through the Jewish quarter and seeing the Jewish cemetery and things like that. I mean, Prague is just amazingly gorgeous. And that's what shocks people when they come here. They go, why didn't I come here sooner? Because this place is fantastic. Now, the second thing that shocks people is how affordable Prague can be. Now, I'm not saying it's dirt cheap. I'm saying it's really, really affordable. And there's a lot of prices you can go for, but you could really do a great trip here on a good budget. You know, you can see a lot of the sites from outside. Going into the sites is not that expensive. Eating, you can go places and eat really well at a good price. And of course, the Pivo, the beer you're gonna wanna drink here, you can get it for a fraction of the cost that you can back home. And it is just wonderful how affordable a Czech vacation in general, but especially just even Prague for a world-class city is probably one of the most affordable ones out there. And that shocks a lot of tourists because they see things like this and say, wow, this place must be super expensive. And it's not, it actually is a really affordable place. Now the third thing that shocks people is if they get up early enough or they stay up long enough to watch the sunrise on Charles Bridge. Now it was too cloudy to go out today and yesterday to go film it but I've been here before for that sunrise and when you stand there and watch it come over the bridge and the towers it is truly amazing. It is breathtaking. It's shockingly gorgeous to see. So I do recommend if you're partying all night long, which happens here, go see the sunrise in the morning. If you're here in the winter, sunrise a little bit later, 7 30, 8 o'clock. You can see it then and it is truly amazing. Now the fourth thing that shocks people when they come here is how many tourists are here, especially on the weekend. I mean we're talking massive tourist hordes and the crazy thing is those massive tourist hordes basically stay on like five streets and if you go just slightly off the street, like there's nobody there and that's what's cool is you have all these people packed in the tourist things. You go one block off to the side, you have an empty restaurant with great prices and great food for a fraction of the price. It is awesome. And the thing is though, there are tons of tourists here. And so you'll see a ton of tourist shops, bohemian crystal shops and restaurants. And it is kind of shocking when you're thinking, is there anything else to do here aside from buying bohemian crystal uh, Czech t-shirts and going to a restaurant to drink beer? Mm, well, there's some museums during the day, <laughs> but yeah, it is kind of shocking like that. Our next shock is how many tourists really overindulge in the Pivo, in the beer. On the weekends, this is a very popular place for, for bachelor parties and bachelorette parties or hen nights. You have a lot of people that come here for guys weekend and stuff like that because of the beer and you will bump into, hopefully not bump too much into, some really drunk tourists. And they'll be singing or screaming or sometimes fighting or doing things. And it is kind of shocking how many you see, you're like, oh, Oh my goodness, all these tourists, there's a big bunch of drunk ones coming this way, singing their song or doing other things. Do you have a little heads up for that one when you are here? Now, my next two shocks have to do with the train station. Look, if you're gonna be flying in, it's not really something to worry about, but if you're gonna take a day trip to Pilsen or if you're gonna go to, to Karlstein or someplace like that, you're probably gonna be in the train station. Or if you're taking the train to Berlin or Munich, you will see the train station. And when you're there, they don't tell you the track a long time in advance. You have to wait, and so there's this big group of people waiting at the boards, waiting for it to change, to say something that they, you know, they're, they're getting ready to run, they got their luggage held onto and they're waiting and then they announce it and the mad dash of people running for the train to catch to get to their platform is quite hilarious and quite crazy. But the thing is, is sometimes they only give you like 10 minutes or five minutes to get to your train. So it does get a bit hair raising there. So that means you don't have to be there super early to the train station because you're not gonna find what platform you're on anyway, but do be ready. Have all your stuff to go because it can be a go 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 mad dash for some of the more popular trains and the thing is it's not just here in Prague it's in other cities as well it's sometimes they wait till the last minute and you're like okay I gotta go run and if you got kids or you're a little bit limited mobility it can be a bit interesting let's say the other shock I always have when I come out of the train station here in Prague is a lot of times I'll see some very interesting activity right in front of the station like when you come out whether it's a group of drunk soccer supporters or it's an amorous relationship that was paid or not paid. I'm not saying anything. I'm not judging. But you do see some very interesting, sometimes 
off-putting things right when you come out of the train station, don't let that cloud your judgment of Prague. Just come out, take a left. It's easy to get to the main kind of walkway to come up into the center of town. It's very simple, but a lot of people do get shot by what they see right outside the train station. So don't get scared. Just come out, take a left. Whoosh head on down and get into the beauty of Prague. Now the eighth shot that people have are the price differences from the tourist areas to just off the tourist areas. I mean, it's unbelievable. Like you will get affordable prices even in kind of the more touristy places, but if you go half a block off or something like that, the prices drop significantly. And if you go a little bit even farther afield, not in the tourist sections, it drops like a rock. I know I said it's affordable, but the price differences you see, you know, going from, you know, a $4, $3 beer here in the square to literally behind the building, behind the camera, it was a euro, you know, like a dollar for a beer. I'm like, wow, a 400% price difference from there to just 100 meters away that does happen here so do explore and ask people hey where are the best places to go and eat where i can get the good price quality ratio and things like that and the checks will let you know and if you speak a little check i mean don't don't worry if you don't it's really tough but know a few words like prosim which is please and dequi basically that's how i said the dequi I, I suck at it but you just try it really opens them up and they're so much more friendly and and helpful here in prague when you do do that i will say that one for you is that big difference also, when you do have the big price differences, you do have a kind of a big difference in sometimes the service quality. The food's great everywhere, but the service quality sometimes does change. And you do tip here in Prague about 10% if you're a tourist, less if they're bad, more if they're good, these kind of things. And that leads us into our next shocking thing is how well you will eat, drink, and make merry in Prague. Because Prague is awesome for nightlife. Whether you're young, crowd partying kind of person, your buddies drinking beers, you're more cultured, wanna to go to opera, see a concert, they have all of that here to do. And so the culture side of it, the fun side of it is here. Also the museums that are here, that's just really great cultural going out kind of fun that is here. But also the eating when you're here. Oh, the duck and dumplings with red cabbage. Oh, that is my favorite one here. Pork or beef steaks with any kind of sauce they make with cream or mushrooms or, or any kind of cheese, any kind of sauce they have. The meats here is amazing. So it's very much a meat and potato thing, but they also love their soups when you're here. The dill soup, have the dill soup. That's my recommendation for you. There's so many great things to eat when you're here. And of course, drinking. This is the Pivo, i.e. beer capital of the world. The Czechs drink more beer per capita than anybody else for a good reason. It's really dang good. And so when you are here, do go out and go party the night away and go eat the, eat the lunch away and drink the Pivo away because you will have a great time here, whether you are a beer connoisseur, a food connoisseur, a tourism connoisseur, a partier, any kind of stuff. Because I've been coming to Prague for literally 20 years now and I've gone from being a club kid to a father of two doing these things. And honestly, there's been something for me in every part of my life and it is wonderful. And it's shocking how there is so much to do for everybody here. Now the 10th little thing that might shock you when you hear is there's actually a beer spa. You could take a bath in beer here. There's a few around town you can actually go to. And you, you know, you, you get in the big vats, you kind of lay there for half an hour and the beer as it percolates through you. And of course there's a tapper of beer right there you can drink yourself. Don't drink the beer you're laying in because dude, that's gross. I mean, think about it. You've been traveling for two weeks. Have you really been washing that well? Oh, grody, do not drink that water. Drink the water from the from the tap on the side. That is kind of fun, one of the fun things to do. And if you do want to do that, you got to book them a few weeks in advance for the weekends because they do sell out. During the week, it's not too hard to get something, but during the weekends, yeah, you need to book that one in advance. So, so those are 10 shocks. And I guess I'll give you an 11th shock when you are here. Though Prague has come a long way, you know, and, and become one of the best tourist destinations in the world, when you have all these tourists, you do have some of the tourist ripoffs that are here. Do be careful if you're taking the tram up to the Castle Hill, make sure you're watching your wallet and stuff like that. But do take the tram up because that, that walk up can be quite tough for some people. Take the tram up and then walk down because it is gorgeous and you got to go up to the castle for the view in St. Vitus Cathedral. It is just gorgeous up there. But do be careful for the pickpockets and stuff like that. The astronomical clock behind me during the day when it's through there, when it's going off, there's tons and tons of people right there and I've actually been there going man if I was a pickpocket I'd have a field day here so do pay attention there's not so many of the tourist ripoffs you know that you do see sometimes they'll overcharge you for a beer here or there nothing too bad because it has gotten better but do keep your eyes open just in case anyway I'm not worried about you loving Prague because this place is fantastic if you want to learn more we have the don'ts of visiting Prague five things you'll love and hate about visiting Prague advice
advice for getting more out of your visit to Prague on our website at waltersworld.com. We're also on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, obviously, and we really appreciate your likes and subscriptions. So if you could click that like button and click that subscribe button, it'd really make a world of difference to us. And I would really appreciate it and the whole family would too. And even if you don't, I really hope you enjoy Prague because it is fantastic. So I wish you a big, huge travel hug to you and safe travels wherever you are in the world. So bye from Prague.